we i think started up somewhere around uh, oh, mid 11 uh, that's when we started out we actually didn't start out at a warehousing company we are essentially me and akash both come from a hardware background and built uh, humanoid robots and that kind of stuff in college had basically had fun taking part in these kung fu competitions and stuff like that post that when it came time to graduate we were basically looking for something which could probably give us the same amount of adrenaline and thrill rather than you know go to a corporate job which not sure what it is because we've never done a corporate job our pick of industry and robotics in what you are saying is has always been to look at a, a application where it's a disruptively important thing for the client the first ones at gri orange uh, the ones that we first started out were were actually sorters with sort out packets based on courier destination etc so what we saw was we have uh, we started seeing that a lot of people are having into a problem where uh, they have to actually quickly sort out we have a very common architecture for all our products whether it is a sortation system or a butler system the technology and the i would say the core platform is very common right so starting from the way we do designing and the way we do manufacturing and even the electronics and embedded part of it, it it's all built on a common platform so that uh, when we scale up with products or even go with multiple products still the core part of it remains same so process starts with designing the product and then it become comes to the mechanical team for you know designing the structure of it and making how it will look and things like that then it goes to electronics team to design the electronics for it and then finally goes to a firmware team who programs it right but most of our products um, are, are a very good mix of hardware and software whether you take a example of butler system where the hardware part are butlers but then server uh, kind of plays a very very important role in you know getting the maximum efficiencies from these butlers in a warehouse similarly when you look at uh, sortation systems the machine uh, the efficiency of the machine is a hell lot improved by uh, the software right so both the parts uh, play equally important role we are very strong believers akash and i in making sure that we are not doing something which is for the sake of selling something right so i mean i like i read somewhere where like calling it that you know you have to be in the business business of selling antibiotics and not selling vitamins right our focus is omni channel retail uh, we call our industry as open case picking so we do uh, you know we do clients like l'oreal for their stores uh, we do even clients which do offline retail only then we do of course the e-commerce clients then we are also getting into brands which do multi channel distribute so they do e-commerce retail and that it's a pretty now fair mix of this thing i think gri orange uh, in the 5 or 10 year i mean we are a pretty long term uh, company thought our thought is that we essentially want to become a industrial product brand and with you know global presence to have so we we're just starting to expand that out what we want to build is a industrial brand that people can trust and then we have a whole bunch of products and product lines under that brand which might be you know spanning from warehousing to industrial automation uh, to let's say store automation i mean it doesn't really matter where it will be the only thing we will want to strive for is that these are high quality premium trustable products that people can actually uh, depend their businesses on that's i think the idea i think we have our core dream list where we want to reach and uh, we have been very very aggressive in terms of uh, what we want to kind of uh, have in every release and we have been pushing very hard to get in uh, you know the latest tech uh, Uh, which we can, you know, get into a more reliable form into our uh, robots. So, for example, the batteries that we now use uh, is the battery that's used in Tesla as well. So, you know, we are, although it's pretty tough to kind of uh, maintain them and make them very reliable, but I think we have always been uh, pushing hard to get a tech and make sure that uh, it comes uh, in our product with full reliability.
in my family pretty much nobody was into business so it was not that obvious to them and you know uh, and i started back when i was in uh, second year in end of second year in the college so obviously you don't really have a lot of credibility as well that uh, you know you got to start so pretty much everybody in the family either is in uh, government first thought was tough to kind of do but um, the good thing at least for me was i was in second year of the college so everybody was like okay just try it for 2 3 years and you know because you already are just managing it with whatever you are doing in college overall after after they have accepted that thought once everything was good they were very supportive throughout our college days we we represented india in about 13 14 countries and as a result we spent more than 50% of our time outside india so post that there was just two factors one we wanted to do something in hardware and something that we like doing and secondly we wanted to do it in india so we started grey orange and that's where we happened to come across warehousing as an industry and e-commerce was you know starting to boom at that time and warehousing traditionally in india has not been of scale so you know thanks to one our tax environment how it is and also the way e-commerce was coming up and you know omni channel warehousing is very fragmented and that's why these were very new problems that were coming about uh, that's when we sat down and basically said let's look at warehousing globally how is it does it happen and what it is and what we learned was quite interesting that you know where this whole industry is pretty nascent it's about 10 15 years old and that's what when we decided to get into automation of products for the warehousing industry so i think we started out you know by uh, doing our own like you know whatever savings we had uh, out of our internships and that kind of stuff we started that out uh, but majorly it was funded out uh, by a set of angel investors and private equity people who put in capital into the company through one or two rounds and they've primarily funded the company where we basically not got in capital into the company but we basically got in the operational experience and the r&d experience into the company we are uh, funded by a uh, couple of uh, the big investors like bloom ventures and tiger global who are there apart from uh, i would say key advisors and angel investors who have also believed in our story so far what we liked about it was it was centered around ip they had a mix of not just hardware uh, and software but they had you know elements of mechanical engineering it was really an integrated uh, you know mix of skills and uh, with ip it becomes more defensible so what we liked is that there was a real base of ip around which they were building applications that was one so if you look at the team i think here there was a very strong matching and mapping of the domain expertise against the uh, idea it wasn't uh, you know just a bunch of engineers or mbas going after this i mean they you know at by the sort of young tender age of 26 and 23 respectively they'd already been in the robotics space for about 10 years you know they've been doing this for a long time so there was a very deep mapping of domain expertise second i think was the uh, uh, sort of ambition you know to to go global i mean here everybody wants to take baby steps but the fact that they were able to go after markets in hong kong and singapore uh, and on a pan india basis not just focus on gurgaon i think you know we like that so we like that you know the ambition and the ability to scale as an entrepreneur you know you got to do things right uh, you don't have any options so uh, then you figure out some ways but i think uh, initially we had taken some really risky moves one of them was uh, whatever um, savings i and some i had uh, after running company for 2 3 months we are put in all of it in one cnc machine uh, so when you start i think uh, putting buying a machine for 35 lakhs is a huge amount of money and i i, I remember we pretty much emptied our accounts uh, just to buy that because uh, that was really necessary to do prototyping now we have gone to a very good situation because we have stabilized with two products but initially it was a very very tough thing to handle where you have a small team and you are still man trying to manage two products so you know making sure how quality of each product is good and with a smaller team calculated risk were taken a few the few of them failed few of them went through we always were very kind of confident of sticking to the plan that okay you know these are the two products let's work as much as possible to get to the point where we can expose them to the market and then we'll go ahead I just wanna be a 